now we'll look at functions. A function, by definition, means that each member of the domain has only one value and its range. Now here in the range, you can have extra values, you can have duplicate values. See how a seven is not, you can have multiple sixes. What you cannot have is something like this. You cannot have one pointing to two different values. You cannot have a member of the domain pointing at two values in the range or have a member of the domain unused. You cannot have that. Each member of the domain must have one and only one member of the range. Okay? Um, we can use a vertical line test, a graph, to determine something's function. This is a function because if I pass a vertical line through this, uh, these, dotted, these dots that are here, they'll never hit more than one point at a time. The vertical line test just means it'll never hit more than one point on a graph at any one time. Let's look at some examples. We need to determine if this is a function. The input value, that's domain, x is the height of a student in inches. And the output is the number of books that the students own. Well, here's a question for you. Could we have a person in class that's, say, 5 foot 10 inches? We could. And maybe they own, say, 12 books. But couldn't we also have another student who's 5 foot 10? But couldn't they own 200 books? Now, look, one, this is the domain. It's the same value, yet it's used twice. We could rewrite this if we wanted to using that set or that notation they use with arrows like this and wouldn't even need the second 510. So this is not a function. All right. There we go. That's not a function. Let's try another. It says determine off the table. Well, as I look, I can tell you right away this is not a function. These two here, we have duplicate values. That makes it not a function. And even if those two ones weren't there, guess what? These two in purple here messed up as well. This is not a function. Because each x has to only have one y. This x of 4 has the value negative 2 and it has the value positive 2. It's not a function. Now, let's use this graph. This is a function. Because this has, each x has one y value. The way you can test it is by the vertical line test. If I pass the vertical line through this, it would never hit this parabola more than one place at a time. Notice I'm only hitting the blue line, the blue curve, at one spot at any one time. So it is a function. Finally, determine whether x equals 3y squared represents y as a function of x. Well, there's a multiple ways you can do this. You can plug it, um, you can plug in values here, but I'll just go and graph it. If I go to my calculator, I add a graph. I know this is not in function notation, so instead of typing anything there, I'm just going to hit uh, the screen, hit menu, actions, and I'm going to just add text. And I'm going to type it in exactly how it looks. The equation they gave us was x equals 3y squared. Hit enter. When you type text, it won't graph right away. You have to take it to an axis. There's the picture. Now what I can do is I want to take this back over um, to the start board. And we're going to look at the picture over here. Now we'll use the vertical line test see if this passes. If I pull out a vertical line, notice it hits it more than one place at a time. This is not a function.